Hey, what's up guys? Long time, no video. It's been a couple weeks. So, just wanted to uh, touch base today. I've been kind of making videos the last little while talking about marathon training, how things have been going, and uh, everything's still going great. I haven't, you know, stopped my training or haven't been injured or anything like that. Just uh, got caught up with moving and, you know, kind of scouting out new areas to run, things like that. So just kind of uh, haven't been been uh, filming it and talking about it too much. But everything's still really good. Um, everything's going really well. Training is awesome. I'm starting week 14 of training. I'm six weeks out from the marathon. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd talk about a couple of the key runs that I've had recently and, and um, you know, just kind of how they went for me. And um, yeah, I guess that's about it. So anyway, just a little bit of an update. Uh, I have, I ran my most mileage in March. I've hit 200K in a month only four times. Once was last May before last year's marathon. When I was still running, like, that was really, that was pretty high mileage for me, and I just hit it. Uh, and then each month this year, so I'm on like a 93-day run streak so far as of today. And January just broke 200. February was something like 230 or 240. And then um, 291 kilometers in March, which I think that's about 180 miles, I believe. Maybe it's 160. No, 180, I think. Anyway, um, so yeah, pretty high mileage. Somewhere around 70K a week or 45-ish miles per week. Um, doing, doing well, feeling really good and, uh, been doing some good speed work, some good hills, but the last couple of really good runs that I had were, um, I think it was, yeah, it was just on good Friday. I went out and ran some two kilometer repeats. So three times two K. So a little warm up and then down the trail and I was really aiming for uh, just in my like kind of tempo interval pace, which for me is just below five minutes a kilometer, 450 to five. And uh, so that's around eight minute mile. And yeah, I was nailing those 2K splits uh, right around 440, 440, 445. So I was actually getting into my threshold zone, which was nice and felt really good. Um <laughs> But I learned a pretty good lesson that day. So it was kind of cold, a little bit cool anyway. And it was like rainy. I did have like a windbreaker on over my shirt. And I felt pretty good. Like I wasn't, you know, cold while I was running really. Even though I wore shorts. Like I felt fine. But because it was cool out and because of the rain, uh, I actually ended up having like some pretty badly chafed nipples. So if anybody has never dealt with that, boy, that is not fun. Um, so what do you do, you know? So anyway, if it's going to be wet and cold and there's a chance of, you know, any issues there, I need to remember to use my body glide in that region and or use band-aids because, man, that was not fun. A couple days of uh, some unpleasant, unpleasant pain, let's put it that way. So lesson learned and... Key tip for you, lube up those nipples. <laughs> so a couple days later, like I said, I'm six weeks out from the marathon. So a couple of days later on Easter Sunday, I wanted to challenge myself. I really wanted to go out and do like a long goal pace run. I've been throwing my marathon goal pace in my long runs in, you know, intervals or in like, uh, you know, middle section of a run or maybe progressing to it for the last 10k or so, <sighs> excuse me, or I've been going out and doing mar marathon pace specific runs just throughout the week, like, you know, five miles of marathon pace or something like that, but on Sunday, I went out and I ran a 23k, which is, what, 14 and a quarter kilometers or something like, no, 14 and a quarter miles or something, and, um, yeah, just over 14 miles. And I ran the whole thing at marathon pace, which for me, since I'm aiming to break four hours, just my second marathon, 
um, I need to run a 541 kilometer overall. So I've opted to do a 10 minute to one minute run walk. And it's been working really well for me because if I do a 10 to one run walk, I need to actually be running at about 526 uh, per kilometer and then just walk my minute briskly. But it's been giving me an opportunity to like, you know, take my gels, drink, do whatever, you know, take a roll late if I need one, blow my nose, do, you know, do those things. Also kind of like rest the legs and recover. And it's been working really well. So I went out on Sunday, did that for the whole 23K. Obviously, my first couple kilometers were a little bit slower. My last couple were a little bit faster to make up for it, which is exactly how I hope to run the race. But yeah, hit my pace dead on to the second. So I was pretty pumped about that. Uh, 23K at 541. So I mean, I came in at um, at somewhere around 210 or something like that. Because 21.1 would be right on two hours. Because that's half the marathon distance. So yeah. Yeah, about 210. Felt really good. I've uh, been using uh, Cliff Shot Gels. And even though I recently made a video about uh, some of their products, like some of their bars, some of their protein bars and stuff containing whey, which I only found out about recently, but I guess they introduced a whey lineup last year. I did already have some of these Cliff Shot gels um, ordered before I found that out. I ordered some in with caffeine from the U.S. using the uh, double espresso, 100 milligrams of caffeine. And then I use the Raz, which have no caffeine, just as like the filler ones in between. These products are completely plant-based. There is nothing, there's no animal products in, in these gels or anything like that. So I'm okay with using these. Obviously, I'm going to try to switch to a company that uses absolutely zero animal products in any of their products at all. But in the meantime, I already have these items. They don't contain any animal ingredients. I think it would be stupid to throw them out, so, um, but yeah, I really need to find out what companies sell, like, energy gels for racing, and, uh, which of those companies are entirely, like, a vegan company that don't sell any products at all, uh, obviously I'm not gonna eat any Cliff products that have, like, the whey protein or anything like that, but, um, it's kind of one of those things like if you shop in a non-vegan grocery store even if you buy entirely plant-based items you're still supporting a place that sells animal products and so most of us don't have entirely vegan um, grocery stores most of us don't have access to or some of us I guess maybe don't have access maybe they didn't have the knowledge at the time to uh, order from a company that has only vegan products so lesson learned I know now I really want to phase away from the cliff, obviously, since they made that decision. I just need to find a vegan alternative. Um, so if anybody knows one, please let me know. I know there's other companies out there like Goo. That's some gels. There's, um, I don't know, there's a few different ones. I just, I don't know. I, I have no idea. I haven't researched their products. I'm going to research them, obviously, after this video instead of just waiting for people to comment. But uh, please do comment below if you do have an idea and you know right away what's uh, what's up. So, yeah, those were two key runs anyway. That was a really long side tangent, so apologize for that. But two really key runs anyway. I'm six weeks out from the marathon, feeling really good. And, um, you know, feeling strong. 93-day run streak, haven't taken a day off. A couple of days have just gone out and run like, you know, one or two miles. But, um now feeling good so I'm gonna probably start uh, you know making this a part of the process again making videos for you guys a lot more hopefully get the uh, the selfie stick out have a couple more run chats when I'm out just on some easy runs but you know really just scouting the last couple of weeks and getting comfortable with the trail here getting comfortable with some different routes and kind of just getting a feel for things and really getting used to having more trail traffic as well Definitely more ATVs, more people out with dogs and stuff. And Okay, quick thing before I go, because this was hilarious. When I started my run on Sunday, I was only, I don't know, like five minutes in, so may probably not even the first kilometer in to my run, and I see these two massive dogs running towards me from a couple hundred meters up the trail. 
I'm like, oh shit, this is how I die, right? Because <laughs> they were big dogs. So I'm just waiting, so I just stop. Just, you know, that's the best thing, in my opinion, to do is just stop, look non-threatening, don't run towards the dogs running towards you. Um, and, you know, it just stopped, and then I did see a woman coming, and, you know, she called them and stuff, and I just kind of put my hands down, let them, like, greet me, and, you know, talk softly to them. And that was fine, so, you know, I didn't die, obviously. And um, so the woman comes up, and it's like, oh, sorry about that, very apologetic. I'm just talking to her for a couple of minutes, and, you know, like, oh, yeah, no, it's no problem. And then we turn around, and it just cracked up laughing. This massive dog that was, like, seriously my body mass, you know, um, comes with this, like, seven-foot-long tree in its mouth. I mean, not just a, a long piece of a tree, like a long branch, but, like, half a freaking tree with all the little side branches and shit coming off of it and wants to play fetch. <laughs> I'm just like, it's just so funny because, you know, two minutes before that, I'm thinking this dog's going to kill me. And then it wants me to play fetch with this tree that I probably couldn't even throw more than like 10 feet, if that. So it was just funny. But um, I guess that's about it, guys. You know, hope everyone's doing well. Um, I try to stay active on my different social medias. Instagram I use quite a bit. You can check me out there. Not as active on Twitter. I don't really do a whole lot on Facebook anymore other than just to share vegan shit, like memes and stuff, um, and like vegan posts. I don't do a whole lot on there. I'm actually very seriously considering deleting my personal Facebook just because I don't care anymore. But um, yeah, you can check me out on Strava as well if you want. So links to all my social media stuff will be down below. And um, yeah, again, if you are a runner or if you know of any exclusively vegan companies that make really good energy gels that you can attest to, maybe you've tried them out before you've used them, let me know in the comments below and uh, your recommendation will go much farther than me just Googling it and seeing what's out there. So uh, appreciate you guys watching and following along and I'm getting excited, nervous, anxious, scared, mostly excited. I don't know, but six weeks out, guys. So uh, we'll talk soon and peace. Mm -hmm.